Hi guys, it is a cool, cloudy Friday morning, May 23rd, 2014. This is your old Doomsday Prophet up at the crack of dawn. Uh, drinking my morning cup of coffee. Before I head to my $12 an hour job behind a pressure washer, I just need to make a quick run through the mainstream media news. I know you can't see this picture because of the glare. I don't even know where this is, guys. I probably all you can see is my hand uh, in this picture. This is somewhere in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, well, obviously, I, I have too hard of a time uh, doing my rants from outside, but it's too nice of a morning to sit inside. So this is what's going on in Africa. I guess this kid, what is he threatening to do? This is French troops blowing up something, and it looks like he's threatening to cut his own throat. So while that's going on in sub-Saharan Africa, here in our own country, we see American Idol crowns its 13th winner. And there you go. So as the French troops blow up sub-Saharan Africa, here in the good old U.S., we have more people watching uh, these idiots, these clueless moron idiots on American Idol in one evening than have ever heard of the Central African Republic. I guarantee you there are more people in America today who could tell you the names of these two clueless, talentless morons then could point to either Central African Republic, South Sudan, or Nigeria on a map, and furthermore, they could give a shit. But anywho, I am running late as always, so I just need to, uh, I need to kind of rush through this, uh, and see, I don't even have time to go over to my lefties over there on alternate. Okay, let's just go down the list, guys. How is, according to the mainstream media, how is this planet collapsing into the end times on May 23rd, 2014, while I prepare to go to work? The first story on the column... U.S. commander warns about China-Vietnam standoff. The U.S. military commander in the Pacific warned on Friday this morning that the risk of a miscalculation that could trigger a wider conflict in a tense territorial standoff between China and Vietnam is high and urged both nations to exercise restraint. Miscalculation, my ass. What was that oil, that offshore oil rig plopped down there in the middle of those waters, a miscalculation. It was an absolute provocation to bring on an oil war as China knows it can stomp Vietnam and Philippines little ass and now of course Russia and Iran getting behind China saying we've got your ass make no mistake about it the single biggest military tinderbox on planet Earth is not the Ukraine is not sub-Saharan Africa it is the South China Sea oil war. Hush. This is this is Lily Lou joining me in my rant today. Hush. Okay. And there, the third story is about that. Uh, is about this new virus running rampant through the Caribbean. Is that horseman of the apocalypse? Uh, marches through the Caribbean Sea, heading towards the U.S., I guess. Okay, 
what is going on in sub-Saharan Africa, in the Central Africa Republic at least, 29 children, 29 my ass, 29 children starve and freeze to death fleeing Central Africa. Nearly 30 children fleeing the war-ravaged Central African Republic have died from starvation, exhaustion, and exposure after crossing into Cameroon, Cameroon, the UN said Friday. In the last month, the rate of deaths among refugee children has been particularly high. There you go. I didn't know you could freeze to death in Cameroon. I thought it was a tropical country. I knew you could starve to death in Cameroon, but I did not even realize that the horsemen of the apocalypse called freezing to death uh, even existed in sub-Saharan Africa. I guess there's five horsemen of the apocalypse. 29 children, there's probably 29 children a minute. Okay, as long as we're over there in sub-Saharan Africa, let's go over there to Nigeria, where the UN blacklists Nigeria's Boko Haram and imposes sanctions. Oh yeah, the UN blacklisted Boko Haram as an Al-Qaeda-linked terror group and imposed sanctions Thursday. Blah, blah, blah. Guys, the, uh, <laughs> let, let's be clear here who the Al-Qaeda-linked terror group in Nigeria is, uh, is called the U.S. military. Okay, from Nigeria to the Balkans up there in Bosnia and Serbia. Immense cleanup in Balkans after flood of the century. I think it's not just flood of the century, it's the biggest flood in, in history in the Balkans since, since, I believe, Noah. A huge cleanup was in full swing in the Balkans on Friday after a week of cataclysmic floods that killed 51 people and sparked the biggest exodus of climate refugees since the 1990s wars. There you go. And complicating the cleanup are the thousands upon thousands of dead, rotting livestock corpses. Okay, speaking of floods, let's go back to Sub-Saharan Africa. I would like to read this whole story, but don't have time. Did Robert Mugabe f fake a flood in Zimbabwe this February? Uh, I guess there was some uh, big flood, and, and the Zimbabwe media was... It, it, anyway, I don't have time to go into it. Uh, it was named a national disaster, and now I guess the mainstream media is, is trying to find any evidence that the flood ever happened. Okay. Here are some over there in China. <clears throat> Violent attack. In China, 31 people were killed and more than 90 injured in an attack Thursday on a busy street market in the in China. From China back here, wow. Gee, and going into Memorial Day weekend, what do you know? Gas prices are going up. Gasoline prices have a familiar look. As summer nears, yep, this the same old story, them oil companies sticking it to you from Memorial Day to Labor Day. Now this one I am going to click on. Mexico City residents battle police over water. 
here you go. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, this is what a water war looks like. Well, I know it's hard to see. Okay, a, conf a confrontation between 1,500 police, 1,500 riot police, and residents of a village on Mexico City's western outskirts left more than 100 police injured in a battle over a water spring. Three police remained in intensive care, five people under arrest. It was just the latest in a series of clashes over increasingly scarce water in the city of nine million people, which must draw much of its water supply from surrounding states. The city grew so fast between the 1940s and the 1990s that once independent villages like San Bartolo were swallowed up by the urban sprawl. And the centuries-old village has a natural water spring which it takes a great deal of pride in, but Mexico City officials want to extend the municipal water system into the village. Gee, what a surprise as 50 1,500 riot cops invade this village to go after their water. Anyone who thinks water wars are between countries. Anywho's uh, moving on. Let's see, a lot of this I've already talking about. Here is a whole lot of shaking going on. Busy stretch for large earthquakes. Surprising this is not Oklahoma yet anyway. This is from Life Science. Analysis of U.S. Geological Survey data finds that April's first three weeks were the busiest stretch of earthquakes going back to at least the beginning of last year. There were 17 magnitude six or larger earthquakes and this looks like to be in the Pacific Rim as things are rocking and rolling. Okay, what is going over there in Iraq? Iraq's Kurds start exporting oil unilaterally. Iraq's self-ruled northern Kurdish region on Thursday started exporting crude oil to the international market through the Turkish port of Siyan despite objections from the central government in Tehran. Uh, I was hearing about this story from some oil executive back in 2009 uh, from this oil man from Texas uh, talking about how the oil companies were going just to work around the Iraqi government and develop these Kurdish oil fields. I see it took five years for his predictions to come true. We will see if the, uh, if the central government pits up with that shit. Okay, back to this country. Army Corps sued over river management approaches. Environmental group sued the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers on Thursday over the use of man-made structures meant to keep the Mississippi River navigable, claiming the techniques provoke flooding. There you go. Uh, no doubt they're right. Let's see. More investigations into this. Is cat litter to blame for nuclear dump leak? We've had uh, several 
Now this, okay, I don't know if you can hear in the background, can you, can you guys hear all of this construction equipment, these, the, these cranes and dump trucks and cement mixers? South Austin, Texas is under attack, under attack by condo developers. Make no mistake about this. And why am I not surprised to see this latest Census Bureau report? Texas has seven of the 15 fastest growing U.S. cities. Texas sized is getting bigger with seven of the nation's 15 rapidly growing cities located in the Lone Star State, which dominated the rankings of a U.S. Census Bureau report. And I will say, now they mentioned in this story, which I did read last night, that Austin, Texas, surprisingly, actually slowed a little bit last year. I find this impossible to believe, but what it was saying is all the bedroom communities around Austin were exploding. But apparently uh, 2014 is going to be different. I, I need to do a rant just driving around South Austin. It is unbelievable the environmental destruction as the city council just just hands over South Austin, Texas to these goddamn developers from Dallas and Los Angeles as our water supply dwindles into nothing as we move into the biggest drought in Texas history this year. Okay. What's going on? Here's a between Vietnam and China over this oil war. How about this story? Vietnamese woman self immolates to protest China. A 67 year old, old Vietnamese woman died after setting herself on fire this morning in protest against China's deployment of an oil rig in waters claimed by Hanoi. Huh. There you go, lady. I'm not exactly sure what this woman thought she was going to accomplish by burning herself to death to protest an oil rig. Anyway, whatever it takes. Let's see, I mentioned this one yesterday about protesters arrested in pay fight at McDonald's headquarters. Protesters were arrested after refusing to leave corporate property outside of McDonald's headquarters as hundreds demonstrated to call attention to workers low pay. Yep, uh, okay. The EPA has reached a deal with Duke Energy to clean river coal ash. All right, there you go. The EPA shaking hands with Duke Energy. Da, 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 da. There's two peas out there, two peas out of the same pod. Here's a real earth shattering uh, mainstream media story. Video captures President Barack Obama on stroll. President Obama took a stroll in Washington, D.C. There you go. And it made the mainstream media news that Barack Obama actually walked to a meeting at the Department of the Interior instead of taking a gas-sucking limousine. That's worthy of making one of the top 100 stories on planet Earth. Okay. More stories about the military coup in Thailand uh, as Thailand 
adjust to life under martial law. Okay, here is meet the rare poisonous plant that has Australian sheep behaving like heroin addicts. I'm, uh, I'm more interested in meeting the rare poisonous plant that has American consumers behaving like heroin addicts. Okay, what's next? Uh, Bakken oil threatened by safety missteps. The godfather of North Dakota's present oil bonanza predicted the state's crude production will double to 2 million barrels per day by decade's end, but warned industry officials that future safety missteps would threaten that. Okay. Let's see, several stories about that big-ass wildfire going on over there in, uh, in Arizona. <laughs> Let's see, here is Toyota recalling 516,000 gas-sucking cars. Okay, what's going on between China and Japan? With wary eye on China, Japan military drill simulates retaking island. Japanese land, sea, and air forces combined to simulate the recapture of a remote island on Thursday. A drill that underscores uh, what is building in that area of the country as uh, th things are getting weird over there, guys. Uh, keep your eye on it. Yep. Putin is optimistic on resolving the Ukraine crisis. Okay, good for you, Putin. All right. Uh, I think I mentioned that. I can't even remember. What is going on in Somalia? Did I mention this one uh, yesterday? Somali extremist threatens U.S. and Kenya with attacks making a rare threat against the United States, a senior member of Somalia's Islamic insurgent group that has carried out terrorist attacks abroad, said Thursday that holy war will come to America and that Islam's flag will one day fly over the United States. There you go. He has made the prediction that the flag of Islam will be flying, uh, will be taking the place of old glory. Mm -hmm. Okay, more stories on wildfires in uh, Arizona. Here's a hilarious one. 85-foot luxury yacht sinks during maiden launch. A brand spanking new 85-foot yacht worth millions of dollars tipped over and sank on its maiden launch Sunday night. Some poor billionaire. I guess he shouldn't have named his multi-million dollar luxury yacht, the Titanic. What do you think, guys? Okay. Sixty million American bird watchers chase ever-shrinking quarry. And I was talking, actually talking to a bird watcher last week who was at the big Texas 
Coast Bird Watch. I have Brother Cardinal joining in. Now that's Brother Wren joining in this rant about the ever shrinking number of songbirds. She's been bird watching for over 50 years and she said this was the lowest count of migratory birds ever recorded on the Texas coast. And Brother Wren uh, is seconding that one. Okay, I have got to uh, get out of here. Let's see. Is there any... Uh, your scientists hope to determine why young whale died. I bet they do. Okay. Any other things out that we need to uh, know about here in the mainstream media? How about Batman versus Superman? There you go. Okay. <clears throat> what is going on in South Sudan? Uh, South Sudan army and rebels block UN peacekeepers. Warring forces in South Sudan are continuing to block United Nations peacekeepers as the civil war, otherwise known as an oil war, that has devastated the young nation continues to reign to rage the UN mission in South Sudan said both government forces and rebel forces were blocking them there you go nobody wants these peacekeepers that the one thing that the government and the rebels in war-torn South Sudan agree on is they don't want these goddamn UN and or anybody else sticking their face in their little oil war it is their oil war stay away okay Let's see, uh, 500 right whales could face the wrong fate. Unfortunately, these creatures now face a new, more modern threat than hunting. A proposal to use seismic air guns off the U.S. Atlantic coast to search for oil and gas deposits beneath the ocean floor. It is big oil is the newest threat to the, these whales. Uh, they survived the whale hunters looking for whale oil. Will they survive the hydrocarbon in industry looking uh, for the other kind of oil. Okay, it is confirmed urine is not sterile. In fact, bacteria do live in urine. So if you are drinking urine, pay attention. Okay. Let's see. Jay Leno is enjoying his retirement. Okay, that's an important one. Uh, climate deal won't be perfect. With 19 months to go until the deadline of a new global pact on climate change, the United States top negotiator cautioned Thursday against unrealistic expectations, saying any new climate deal, quote, won't be perfect. And with that, I will wrap up the Friday, May 23rd, 2014 edition of my End Times Headlines rant and head off 
to go into battle with a pressure washer. Bye guys.